Evening. They're a notoriously secretive subculture, sleeping by day, spray painting by night, creating graffiti that costs the rest of us half a billion dollars a year to clean up. Video journalist Tim Noonan has gone undercover for FYI for the first time to expose the graffiti movement with one of the most brazen gangs in the country. Cops say it's illegal, we say it's legal. We're making it legal, motherfuckers. It's not damage, it's decoration. They have sniffed too much of their own paint. They, it, you've got to be mentally damaged to think there is any legitimate, rational explanation for this. It's not. It's criminal damage. We're going to be there waiting for them. Get out! 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 They believe it is a game. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! And we're not going to tolerate it. Arms out! Get down the ground! I don't know what the right approach is to what their solution is. Like, I don't really give a f You want to walk down, you want to kill the street, you just trash it. We're doing some hardcore foreign, foreign exchange, just cans, whatever. Watch out for the cops. Cop, cop, cop. It's like being a superhero, sort of, I don't know. It's f***ing fun when you're doing oh, it. Oh, it's great. You know, <laughs> these so-called uh, graffiti artists, for a lack of a better term, um, are utilising fire extinguishers filled with paint to demolish sides of buildings in the name of art. What are they doing to my skyline? They're putting cranes all over it. They're bloody praying mantises killing my landscape. Like, I don't want to see that, but I have to. But well, they are very simple-minded people. I started doing it when I was 13 or 14. I'm 24 now. It's just childish, it's immature, and it's just like a, a three-year-old grabbing hold of a pen and scribbling on something. HCP, KRP. Of course. Why are you doing more than one tag? So I can get my name up as much as I can. More tags, better. How do you know the cops aren't watching you? Because where we're spraying at the moment is an easy place. They can't be f walking around the back of these places. Just feel like, you know, just natural high, you know? You're just up there, like, spraying, and it's like, whoa, is anybody watching me? Is anybody going to see? Yeah, CSA on Platform 5. Just be aware we have the cameras on you at this point. Please. What seems to be the problem? Can you just throw up a vision of 013 and uh, just see if we can see what happened in the info office there? Yeah, no I'll get the uh, transit officers down. We have the monitoring room that you can see here. We have operators who uh, are watching through the cameras. We have uh, around about 1,200 cameras spread throughout the whole system, and that's at stations, on platforms, and they're all movable cameras so that we can turn around and we can zoom in. The chances are, very high chance uh, that we'll, we'll see it happening, uh, we'll film it, we'll catch you, and you'll be uh, prosecuted and you'll lose. If they're, if they're hitting trains, it really is uh, lightning raids. They're in and they're out very quickly. Go, 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 go! Get out, please, get out! Get out, 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 All right, mate, I need to advise you that you're under arrest at the moment for uh, trespassing and graffiti. We've got a uh, backpack here. It's got some cans in it, about half a dozen cans. Uh, some various other graffiti implements, including some nibs and uh, some tin snips, which they've obviously used to uh, access a perimeter fence. What about these tags, fellas? What's the go? You understand that uh, you've committed offences here under the criminal code, criminal damage, possession of graffiti implements, and you committed offences by trespassing on uh, public transport authority property. At this stage, here are the three charges you, uh, you charge with tonight. Do you understand? Do you have any questions about that? I think for them, the railways are is a, you know, an easy target and a good target because it gets it gets some exposure. The trains are always moving. It amazes me some of the things these guys will do in order to, you know, put their message across or get the credibility as they call it. 
classic example is, is riding on the trains, where they jump on the back of the trains. It's good, eh? That was good. That was awesome. Huh? The legacy that they're going to leave behind for a for a stupid act is is their death. These type of people are just out there wholly and solely for for that rush and to have a piece of what they term as art put on um, on a moving object. The risk factor is 100. percent It's hard. You know, and you could be out there spraying and you don't know what they're going to do, you don't know where they're going to come from. I could get done, I know I'm going to get done, I'm going to get chased, but I'm going to do it anyway because I need to get this spot, this spot's something that I need to do, you know. It was sort of like an achievement, if you want to put it that way. You know, all this, all these other, other people out there trying to strive to get the same sort of, you know, uh, same sort of piece on the same sort of train. It's quite simple, really. Um, for them, it's just the thrill, the thrill of uh, being involved in the criminal activity. It's all about taking the control back. You can control, be, be whoever you want to be. You know, you feel insignificant, so that, you know, you do it and you go out and you actually become part of the city. <sighs> we might have another fence to cut through. Here we go. Well, do both. I'm looking at running up on that train right up there, mate. Walls are good to paint, but trains? We're going to look out for anyone, any worker, anyone that's going to bust us. When we do what we do, we're giving buffers a job, you know, and, like, we're giving people employment because we're doing our stuff, but we can get charged for it. Whereas if you put that on paper and send it to, like, Nike, you can get, you know, a shoe contract and, like, advertise their products for them. So you're just working to get back into the system at the end of the day. Like I got into it to fight the system and I'll probably end up working for it. The government, you know, employs people to clean it and it's like a vicious cycle. You do that, someone's getting paid to go and clean it. You know, that's how the economy works. You know? Well, the money could be used better in better places. It could be used, in, you know, in hospitals or um, at schools or or for people who are, you know, disadvantaged or have disabilities. That sort of money could be used far better than having um, having to clean up after some some idiot. Oi, if someone comes up and like stops you painting and they're like, "What do you think you're doing? Definition. You're gonna give it legs or you're gonna f***ing boots knock them out?" Knock him out. <laughs> well, taking a girl's virginity, I suppose. It's just, you know, you've got that under your belt. You know, you've done it. You know, everybody's heard about it. Do you think parents are in denial that this is actually happening? Oh, in some cases, um, parents would like to think that they're, uh, their children are uh, little angels. And uh, they're pretty naive, obviously, if they think that. I wouldn't say it's a war against the cops, but we just don't like them, you know? We don't like what they're about. We don't like what they do. They're trying to stop us from having fun and producing artwork. Mate, you apprehended red-handed. But for whatever reason, you fellas think you can get away with this sort of stuff, we're going to come down and crack down on it fairly hard. Do you understand? If you get in trouble for graffiti, especially on a train, it isn't, it isn't community service, it's jail time. We're in the process of establishing a, uh, a database of graffiti offenders with our intelligence officer. Um, all the stuff we seize tonight gets loaded onto, the, uh, onto, onto our systems with the view of it obviously using it in future if we come across these guys again. So it's a, it's an on, it's, it is an ongoing battle, but we're slowly getting there and uh, hopefully we're going to uh, win the war in the end. F what every government thinks. Graffiti ain't ever gonna die. You know, we could be a terrorist, but we're not. We're just graffiti artists. You clean a wall, I'll f***ing dirty it. You clean a train, I'll dirty that too. And if your property comes in the way, I'm sorry, but it's gonna get sprayed. You can always paint over it. You're gonna get sprayed. One graffiti painter can cause $30,000 damage on a single weekend. Tim Noonan with that undercover report.